Do you think fans want more or less violence? Well, no one goes around saying that they want more violence, right? You, know, you don't hear anyone saying, society's not violent enough, I wish football was more violent. But when you watch people uh, or listen to people talk about a football game they're watching, the things they want from the sport are tied to the violence. Um, you know, that they, uh, a, they're, they're still you know, nothing like a really physical defensive battle for a football fan, right? They're watching a game, and it's 14-6 in a blizzard, and it's just guys pounding each other. Um, you know, it, it almost becomes the way they maybe remember football from the 70s. They love that. Now, when you say you love that event... When you love that 14-6 game in a blizzard where guys are pounding each other, what you are essentially saying is, I want more violence. Yeah. I miss this part of football. But you use a different language. It's like a semantic thing. Um, you know, I, 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 in this chapter, I quote a, uh, a real sports episode about Jim Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh talks about this. And, and after the, you know, the, that he thinks football is maybe like the last place uh, in society where, to, you know, to be a quote-unquote, like a man exists is in football. And, and after the piece, Andrea Kramer and Brian Gumbel are discussing it, and they're both kind of aghast that this sentiment was expressed. But this sentiment exists, and it's more widespread than I think people in the intellectual community might realize. I mean, the people who are against football tend to be people in the media, in academia, maybe they're in the medical profession, they're in the law profession, they're very smart, intelligent people, but they live in a world where there really isn't any physicality, where violence is so distant, it's only seen as something that interferes with your day-to-day -day life. But if you talk to a construction worker, or guys who move furniture, or farmers, or whoever, they see those qualities, and the qualities that are part of football, as something that is central to life. And I, 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 I can imagine a future where football exists for a political reason. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.